Harvey Weinstein's Walk of Shame. Okay, here we go. The former Hollywood heavyweight let out in handcuffs by police. Are you sorry, Harvey? The disgraced movie producer turning himself in. Any comment, Harvey? Now officially charged with the rape and sexual assault of two women in New York City. The shockwaves from Weinstein's fall from grace have reverberated around the world. The 66-year-old has been largely considered public enemy number one in the Me Too movement, accused by more than 90 women of sexual misconduct, harassment, assault, even rape. Today, marking the first criminal charges against him. He is a sociopath. He may or may not believe he's ever done anything wrong. Rose McGowan is one of them. What was your reaction when you saw him in handcuffs? It's a very complex feeling because for the initial moment, you see the sad sack of a person shuffling. And you think, oh. And then you remember, and he must be stopped, and it's a good thing. For someone who's never met Harvey Weinstein, how would you describe him? He's a monster. He looks like a monster, and he is a monster. Some people get the faces they deserve. This isn't her case, but McGowan says it may bring her and all those other women some sense of justice. Did you ever think that this day would come? I wish I could say I did think this day was going to come, but I didn't. I didn't believe it would, and I'm so grateful that it has. The Manhattan District Attorney has been investigating these new cases against Weinstein for months. He appeared in court grand jury notice and as the charges against him were read out loud. Pale, somber, and still handcuffed, he listened to some of the details of the case against him. This defendant used his position, money, and power to lure young women into situations where he was able to violate them sexually. Our investigation is ongoing, and we have encouraged other survivors to come forward. The charges involve an unnamed woman who accuses Weinstein of raping her at a hotel in Midtown Manhattan in 2013. And former actress Lucia Evans, who says Weinstein overpowered her during a business meeting back in 2004 and forced her to perform oral sex on him. Evans explained her decision to press charges to The New Yorker. At a certain point, you have to think about the greater good of humanity, of womankind. Today, the movie mogul surrendered his passport and posted a million dollars cash bond. He's out of jail, but under GPS monitoring. Mr. Weinstein will enter a plea of not guilty. Mr. Weinstein has always maintained that any sexual activity he engaged in was consensual. Weinstein's attorney, Benjamin Braffman, says he'll file a motion to dismiss the charges against his client, saying there's not enough evidence. Mr. Weinstein did not invent the casting couch in Hollywood, and to the extent that there is bad behavior um, in that industry, that is not what this is about. It's absurd. Casting couch, that's a nice little euphemism for the boss is going to rape you. McGowan says Weinstein raped her 21 years ago. Earlier this year, she sat down with our own Juju Chang, sharing her story. What was your impression when you first met? I thought he was a warthog from hell. I thought he was terrifying looking. McGowan says the assault happened during a business meeting in his hotel suite. The then 23-year-old said the initial meeting went well, but as she was leaving, she says Weinstein pushed her into the bathroom, took her clothes off, and forced oral sex on her. She shared the details in her biography, Brave. You write, you detach from my body. I hover up under the ceiling, watching myself sitting on the edge of the tub against a wall, held in place by the monster whose face is between my legs, trapped by a beast. Those are your, that's a nightmare. Literally a nightmare. But it was consensual, right? I don't know about you, but when you've had consensual sex, you don't really fill up with tears afterwards. At the time of our report, an attorney for Weinstein said that he denies her allegations of non-consensual sexual contact, and it is erroneous and irresponsible to conflate claims of inappropriate behavior and consensual sexual contact later regretted with an untrue claim of rape. McGowan reached a settlement with Weinstein for $100,000 in August of 1997. A copy of it was posted here on The New Yorker. In exchange, she would not pursue legal action against him. She says that settlement did not include a confidentiality agreement. This case is obviously 
not your case, but do you feel that he'll still be able to be held accountable for what he did to you indirectly? Because our stories are all so similar, I think one win will be for all of us. Weinstein's other alleged victims agree. We were with Katherine Kendall, one of his accusers from the 90s, as she watched him walking in handcuffs for the first time. I don't think I really expected it, but it's, um, but it's so right. It's so unbelievably right. She hopes it's the first step in a march toward justice. I don't think that it's fair that just because, you know, you're, you're a, a famous Hollywood producer and you have lots of money that, that you don't have to serve time. Rape is rape, <laughs> who, who, no matter who does it. And it's a crime. So, yeah, he needs to, to pay. Kendall says the former studio executive undressed during a business meeting and tried to get her to massage him. She says she got away, but kept it a secret until last fall. I was afraid that if I spoke, the only person that was going to get hurt was me, not him. He has everyone protecting him. He's got the money. He's got, you know, the people making movies, whoever it is, the power. Kendall, like most of Weinstein's accusers, will never get her day in court. The statute of limitations has expired, but the similarities in their stories could mean they may testify this time. When it can prove that the person had effectively a modus operandi, that this is the way he did things, and by those other women coming forward, it can help prove that this happened. If they ask you to testify, would you? I would absolutely testify. Over and over, I will sing it to the heavens. Weinstein's attorney insists his client will be victorious. I anticipate that the women who have made these allegations when subjected uh, to cross-examination in the event we even get that far, that the charges will not be believed by 12 people, assuming we get 12 fair people who are not consumed by the movement that seems to have overtaken this case. This isn't the first time officials considered prosecuting the Hollywood power player. The NYPD was investigating a case against him in 2015. Robert Boyce was the chief of detectives. Let's go back to the beginning when you first heard Harvey Weinstein's name mentioned in uh, an investigative fashion. So that was March of 2015 when we had a case uh, where he uh, forcibly touched the young lady down in, uh, in Tribeca. The New Yorker uncovered an audio recording of a conversation between that woman, model Ambra Batalana Gutierrez, and Weinstein. The tape was part of a police sting operation. And if you want to leave, when the guy comes with my jacket, Why you can go. you touch my breast? Oh, please, I'm sorry. Just come on. I'm used to that. But come on. Are you please. used to that? Yes, come in. Because no, but I'm not used to that. I won't do it again. Come on. Sit here. That case was never prosecuted. The DA's office saying the audio was insufficient to prove a crime under New York law. Why do you think the DA's office didn't press charges back when they even had audio files? We had probable cause to be arrested. We had an admission of guilt on, on, a, on a tape. We felt it was a good case. Uh, why, why they didn't is somewhere in their realm, not mine. Boyce was also part of the investigation into the current case against Weinstein. Did the two women require some persuasion? I wouldn't call it persuasion. I, I would call it support. That's, the, that's what I would say. Support is because it's something that uh, will change their lives, and they know that. If convicted in this case, Weinstein faces up to 25 years in prison. I want to play for you earlier this year when you were interviewed by uh, Juju. What does justice look like to you? Bars. This man should be behind bars for the rest of his life. He has stolen. He has hijacked. He has smeared. He has lied. He has purchased. He has done diabolical things in the name of being able to stick his face between women's legs and literally eat their essence. It's chilling and it's real. How do you feel looking at that and what does justice look like now? We're getting closer to justice. Bars. Because we had invisible bars around us for so long. We didn't get to have a life, not the one we thought we were going to have. Not just careers but lives, freedom, freedom from nightmares, freedom from body flashbacks. And I think I stand by my original statement. That is exactly what I think it should be. And we're one step closer, a big step closer today. For now, McGowan says she plans to face Weinstein again in court, 
vowing to go to watch the trial if it happens. I have faith that 12 people will look at him and say guilty. Will you be there? Damn right I'll be there. Yeah. And her message to those two women pressing charges? I would like to thank Lucia Evans for her bravery. Nobody wants to do this. Nobody wants to go out and take the hits that she's going to be taking. Nobody wants to have to defend themselves after being attacked. That's double attack. I stand with her. I send her all the strength and to the other unnamed woman. And I'm so sorry that I couldn't stop it earlier. I really tried. What's behind your tears right now? Is this frustration, anger, joy? Sometimes I get sad for who I was. I miss that girl. And when I talk about him, I think of her. And I think about all of us and who we were. But I am, despite what I look like, <laughs> I'm really happy today. Yeah. This is for all of us. For Nightline, I'm Lindsay Davis in New York. Weinstein is set to appear in court on July 30th when he'll learn whether a grand jury has indicted him. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.